Welcome everybody, it is Mario Man 2100 back again with a first impressions video and it's finally time for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite to get its first impressions video. And we're gonna hang into some battle um, versus CPU. I like that, actually that's the first thing that I like is that the menu actually has different options there, like you can play arcade mode and all that type of stuff. So we're gonna play in the training chamber. And this is our initial roster. It's not a bad roster, I would think. Um, it's not the best roster ever. A lot of people will say, but um, I'm gonna play with some new characters mixed with some old ones as well. So we got Mega Man X. Can't play with my. Um, costume, my uh, command mission costume, because I actually got this on release date. Um, hey, can you reimburse so me for web fluid? <laughs> so we got normal Spidey as well. Power Stone. Strider here, you. Strider here. Captain Marvel. Hope you have Who will prevail? And we got Strider and Captain Marvel. Sounds a little bit like Marvel vs. Capcom 3's <coughs> versus music startup thing. Excuse me. That's disgusting. Yeah, we're probably gonna have that installing you can take thing. Take center but... stage, Spider-Man. Know the attack plan. Let's go. Who will come out on top? Ready. Fight. <laughs> Missed it. So now Spider-Man was one of my characters in Marvel 3 that I played really well with. Like, I could use him in both the simple and normal uh, c uh, control types. So we have Mega Man X. Who was the first character that was shown off in the initial trailer of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and rightly so, because goddamn. No, oh, we blocked that. Ow. Ow. And ow, Carol Danvers, like Jesus Christ, it didn't hurt that much. Oh, so they have multiple quotes for the specials. Oh, yeah, throw with Spidey. All in a day's work for your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Equip your own lungs, yes. <laughs> this is fun. This actually controls pretty well. Let's so we'll go to the character select. But yeah, I do like that the menu setup finally has CPU versus, because thank god that's a thing. Um, who else am I going to play with? Thanos. No one is my equal. Because he's gonna come after me. <laughs> because I play. I got the Infinity Stones, I got the full Collector's Edition. No, I may work with you, Thanos, but I'll never trust you. <laughs> That's about right. So 
So I'm not sure if the gem system is a little bit like Children of the uh, X Men, Children of the Atom, and um, More again. Oh, Street Fighter Fight Fight Cross Tekken. Only one team will be left standing. The reality stone against us. There we go. It's a bit of a shame that we can only play in the training chamber right now while the game's installing. Surrender uh, all hope. Your ruler has arrived. Hmm, <laughs> naughty. Perhaps I could punish you. Who will come out on top? Nah, I think Ready. Thanos will just take the Infinity Stones and just take him out. Wait a minute, he has eye lasers? Are you kidding me? He has eye lasers! What the fuck is this? Okay, so there's a couple of characters that actually have multi-lasers uh, as a super. Oop, throw. See, now Nova was a bit slow in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for me. I couldn't work it out as much. Okay, new super. I think that's a, a level 1 super now. Fucking hate Morrigan. <laughs> well, no, not really. She's a good character. It's just, um... Marvel vs. Capcom 3 definitely had a lot of... Okay, so I gotta fill up the gauge for that. All right. Well, I can't actually... I can't actually phase out while the reality stone's still up. Jeez, man. No, oh, I didn't bring a roll! Oh, okay, so that's a little bit like Strider's special. Crawler Assault. Okay, so there's a lot of things I do check out. Jesus Christ, just bitch slapped him out. Thanos, like, holy shit, dude. Ow, ow. I'm gonna lose here. Oh, yeah, I knew if we could press the buttons. All in a day's work for your friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Thanos doesn't look happy. But yeah, Thanos actually feels pretty good. And I think he, he was a playable character in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, so he isn't completely new, but he's new in the sense that he is a new model. Like, he was only sprite-based before. Um... So I'm gonna play Jedi and Ultron. If it serves my purpose, I will come. Well, that, that is about right. <laughs> See, he's a mind jam. Not firebrand. God damn it. <laughs> Jeez, Frank West looks old. Is that the look from Dead Rising 4? Because uh, I don't personally know. I haven't played a Dead Rising game before. I mean, I have an Xbox 360, so I should be able to, but I don't. Okay, Firebrand. Who will come out on top? Ready. So yeah, Jetta. Haven't seen him since Darkstalkers, if you're not counting Project Cross Zone. Oop, man, missed. 
So I'm wondering if the combos from Jetta are actually very similar to ones from Darkstalkers. Grab him. Oh, you can't combo into that? Like, you can't combo out of that? Like, that's that's really weird. Like, you would think with a special like that, you would be able to, but... Oops. Switch is the other button. Is R1 instead of L1. But yeah, Ultron, and also another new character, and one that I kind of seen coming, just due to the fact that he's popular, not just because, you know, Avengers Age of Ultron, which probably would have been in this, out probably about the same time as the development of, um, uh, the start of development for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, I would assume, like, like, and there you go, another laser, but instead, Ultron actually has three lasers. I think a little bit like um, Thanos, I think Thanos might have four, possibly. Oh, that's a level three. Or is it a level two? I don't know. Yeah, I'm liking Jetta. Jetta's pretty cool. I will admit, like the his combo game, especially in the air, is really good. You shall live on this part of me. <laughs> okay, the voice actor does that really well. Will admit, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this, like, the story mode must take a long time to install. Like, shit, I know it's been like 10 or 15 minutes, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, who else have we got? We've got Captain Marvel, who's left, and Gamora. I think that's it, out of new characters. Captain Marvel! Alright, let's start this battle. Well, that's cool. I mean, I like the, the original colors more, but at the same time. Gamora! Danger is close. Stay on your guard. So I'm guessing that's more nebula colors, I would guess. The purple, the pinkish purple color? I don't know. Mind gem, okay, we'll do that. Chun Lee! Yes, Iron Man! <laughs> Who will prevail? Well, they got the mind gem as well. But I like that Iron Man suit and that's just normal color too, I think, Chun-Li. Most of the Street Fighter games, I think. Pink, usually. When I think I can get a little R&R, &R, you guys show up. <laughs> Whoever wants to be kicked first, come at me! Who Might be Captain Marvel, <laughs> if you get that chance. But then again, you're Chun-Li, so I wouldn't be surprised. So there's a lot of recovery with some of these specials and with some of these hyper combos, which is which is weird because Oh nice overhead. Okay, so Iron Man still has the shield from Marvel 3 instead of it's yeah, I think it's more of a, a projection more so than um, than a metal shield. This might hurt. Excellent. 38 hit combo, excellent. <laughs> okay, so I hear some people say that Gamora is a little bit like Deadpool, with guns and swords being the main attacks and stuff, but I do like Deadpool in Marvel 3. Oh, nice. So it's a 5 hit combo, that's, that's only a level 1. Oh, this might hurt. Oh, nice block. I still got chip damage though, and that was a lot of chip damage. Jeez, missed the level 2. Jeez, I'm lucky that didn't... I'm surprised that didn't chip her out. 
The super. The past is not important. Only the future. So I'll be I'm very interested to see Captain Marvel in um in the later Marvel MCU movies because well, it's a character we haven't seen before and you know she's getting her own movie and that sort of thing, which is good. Um but yeah, it's it's surprising that, that Captain Marvel for such a long time just wasn't a character that was on the list on the cards for, for a movie in the MCU. And I mean, a lot of people are saying this this roster isn't that great due to the overabundance of MCU characters. But at the same time, I have you know you have characters like Dormammu who still looks like his comic book counterpart, and then you have characters like Nova who hasn't showed up yet, uh, Captain Marvel who's on her way, and Ghost Rider being the exception. Like, um, did we forget that Ghost Rider was a thing? <laughs> like, I mean, yes, there's been Ghost Rider movies before, and they haven't been too good, but at the same time. So we have Chris Redfield here, and Nemesis, but no Albert Wesker, like, that that's a really weird situation there. Um, so I'm gonna play as Dante. Okay. Let's get the party started! Okay, so they got the blue as well. So it should be more silver, silver hair more so than blue. Because I think that was what it was originally in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, and... Play Cap. In America, we'll fight as a team. Okay, reality Chris, counts. We have Chris Red with the move out. Hawkeye, no back fight. in his comic fight. book attire. I'm surprised they didn't go for more so, a more realistic look for Hawkeye, rather than his comic book costume. But yeah, like, I'm just saying, like, there's a there's an emphasis on MCU, yes, one. but at the same time... Arrived at the target point. There's the a, a lot of comic book stuff as well, Ooh, in terms, in terms of looks Ready. and costumes and stuff. Alright, so Dante is one that I used as well in Marvel 3, and he blocked all of that. <laughs> Okay, so, it's a, it's a L2. okay, so L2 is dash. Okay. Because I was pressing R2 as dash and it wasn't. I think it's just heavy hit. Ow, 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 ow. I'm already dead, Chris! Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> okay, Cap. Cap was a bit slower for me when in Marvel 3, but at the same time, he's still a good character. I just, I just kept pressing the button all the time to roll over to the other side all the time, which was... Okay, so it's L1 and R1, I think, is a reality sh uh, reality storm. See, I did that a lot. Oh, missed it. So yeah, let's go with Dante. Ow. That really hurts. Wait, he actually walks with that now? I think you could do that in Marvel 3, but you couldn't walk with it, I don't think. As far as I remember. Ow, that's Firebase, and Dante is down. Oh, and throw again. Wait, that's a circle motion now? That's cool. I like that. Didn't miss that time. I just wish I could do Stars and Stripes with the 
easy button because they mix the easy button combination and I wouldn't have mind it so much if they had a situation where Marvel 3 where they had the simple and normal button combinations that you could just use because I will fight Okay, that, that, that delivery is a little bit off. And I don't know, something about Captain America's face here is a little bit off. I don't know, it might be just me, but there's something a little bit off with it. I think Dante's is not as bad, his character portrait is pretty good. And that, that picture, that end screen, the windscreen um, picture isn't so bad either. Okay, so we have the new uh, maps that we can use. So we have New Metro City, which I believe is a crossover between um, New York and Metro City from Street to Red and Final Fire, rather. Uh, Aimbrella, so that's the AIM Corporation and um, Umbrella. We have New Metro City Downtown, so there's two. Um where the Avengers Tower is. We have Known Moon, which... Um, I'm not sure, actually. I think it's... I think it's like Knowledge or something is what the planet is called in the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. And I think it's a combination between that and like a moonish type thing. I mean, but I'm not sure. Exgar, which of course is um, Asgard and I think Metropolis from the X series, and then we have the throne room there, we have the Avengers Tower, we have the Dark Kingdom which looks pretty cool, I think that's from Darkstalkers I think, and Volcanda which is I think a crossover between Wakanda and something else, but like, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, so let's play at Aimbrella, because I like that Modok is in the back in the background of this stage. Okay, so we have the one of the colors. So basically, the two Smash colors that we have for Ryu and Smash Brothers is here. Oh, and we have Evil Ryu. We have Evil Ryu as well. Um, so we have Evil Ryu. We have Command Mission uh, X. We have. Uh, Thor and. Gladiator, Gladiator Hulk, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna play as Ryu. I shall fight. Can't use the other colors, so they must be unlocked in the story. And Rocket, who I think actually uses Groot as well, which is pretty cool. Captain Marvel, who will prevail? I should actually win Eagle Warrior. That would have made more sense, but anyway. That's something we can go into a little bit later. <laughs> but this is actually feeling good. I don't know how this is going to stack up against Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 for me. Because that's the game, that's the Marvel game that I've played the most. You have the potential to wield the Hotto. I won't back down, no matter who shows up. I gotta say, X's voice actor is pretty cool. But I would like to see how it um, how it stacks up against Marvel 3 for me, but uh, of course Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for a lot of other people. I forgot you can aim the head. Oh, X's theme is... Central Highway from Mega Man X1. That's amazing. I like that. That's cool. That is amazing. I love that. I just realized his character theme was 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 Central Highway. That track is so damn good. Rock and roll! 
<laughs> I love that super. I mean, the British voice kind of in Marvel 3 for Rocket didn't make a lot of sense, but at the same time, it was pretty cool. There we go. L1 plus R1. I gotta remember that. That's, that's really odd. I mean, Rocket's voice here isn't so bad. Wait, X, you should be able to do that too. And that's kind of a Hadouken, but that's like a Mega Buster shot more so. A charge shot. Yeah, Hyper Combo KO. Good fight. And just like that, Ryu is gone. <laughs> Ryu does it in a lot of fighting games. He doesn't do it in Marvel 3, I don't think, but but he does it he does it in Smash. He does it here. He does it in Street Fighter. I'm not sure about Street Fighter 5, but I, I think in Street Fighter 4 I think he does that a little bit. No. No, he doesn't do it in Street Fighter 4, I don't think. I think in some, um, in some of the character intros and, and endings for some matches, I think he can do it. But anyway, but um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Is my first impressions of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? What do I think? It's actually a good game. I actually like it a lot. It feels pretty good, and. Well, we have more things. <laughs> going into collection mode, because why not? Oh, maybe I should be going in here while recording. <laughs> um, but I feel like it's 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 going to be a good game. Um, we're we're of course going to get more DLC along the way, which is good. Um, and I think almost every character, except for one or two. Uh, new characters which you know is kind of bad in some ways because it's just like oh you're sh restricting it the game to dlc being the way that those characters are going to come in and i can see the argument for that but if the base game is good as well then i personally don't mind if i pay a kind of deal like i've got the collector's edition so i'm not going to be paying for any of these characters coming up so i'm not going to be paying for sigma I'm not going to be paying for Cap uh, for for Black Panther, and I'm not going to be paying for the other four DLC characters. Like they're going to be free for me because I've already got that plus the costumes and the Carol Danvers costume, which actually uh, I should actually show that off because um, that is exclusive to the PS4 version, I think, of the game. I think, pretty sure, might be able to buy it. Um, but if I go to Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Got wave right, two. There's Carol now. Danvers. There's not too much to the costume, but anyway. So this is the character with new colours. For Evil Rio, well, there's not many, as you can tell. Like the hair's still white, but it's just the aura is a little bit changed and gloves in. So that's more Ken colours there, like the red. Um, the red gi and not so much the, the yellow gloves but um, they could symbolize Ken Master's hair or something, I don't know. But yeah, no, I think this is going to be a good game eventually uh, when it gets more stuff. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good product as it is now, don't get me wrong, which is good. I think that that is a good thing about this is that it's a good starting point and they can only just make it better and I think that's good uh, for a game like this. So with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching my first impressions video of Marvel vs Capcom Infinite. This has been Mario Man 2100 you guys have a great day and night and of course, take care.